Hello and welcome to World Class, the show that brings you the finest in five-star travel from around the globe. This time, we're on the beautiful holiday island of Ibiza, one of the four Balearic Islands that lie south of mainland Spain. Ibiza is a cosmopolitan island. It's an island of contrasts. Its popularity and appeal grew in the 1990s when it became the unofficial summer residence of Europe's glitterati. They were drawn here by its white sandy beaches and glamorous nightlife where it was possible to dance all night to world-famous DJs and relax or recover by day in incredible style. But away from the rock and roll lifestyle and the hedonism of the main resorts lie clusters of tiny white villages cascading down hillsides, olive groves, cultural sites, fishing ports, and miles of deserted countryside to discover. And with over 50 fabulous powder white beaches lapped by crystal clear water and around 300 days of sunshine a year, this island really does tick all the boxes for a world-class visit. We start our journey at the luxurious Aguas de Ibiza, a five-star hotel in the port of Santa Eulalia, where owner Alberto Torres introduces us to one of Ibiza's lesser-known hideaways. The hotel is located in what we call the other Ibiza. The other Ibiza is the northern part of the island. We are situated in Santa Eulalia, which is a traditional town on, on the island. And, but we call it the other Ibiza because it has nothing to do with what people have in mind when they come here. The design of all the, for the building, and especially the, the lobby, has been built around the Feng Shui philosophy. So as you can see, we place these alabastro panels, uh, always using very natural elements. For us, it's very important all around the hotel to be able to touch and feel natural things. That brings you to Ibiza and to the feelings we want to, to, to transport you here on the island. This hotel has been designed to reflect the natural environment of the island beyond it from the pure decor and striking architectural design to the abundance of natural light flooding the rooms and, of course, the warm welcome that ensues. So what kind of accommodation awaits the world-class traveler? The presidential suite was actually developed hand by hand by the interior designer, but also with my dad. He wanted to recreate and get inspired by the inner villages of the island. So as you can see, the materials are, are wood, are, the color scheme is, more, is warmer in a way. With 114 beautiful rooms to choose from, it's welcoming to know that so much thought has gone into the design, color palette, and layout of each of these unique suites. A bathtub with a view is not so unusual in this hotel, so relax and just take in the surroundings. With the corner suites of the hotel, what we tried was using more kind of fresh materials. So we have natural white stone on the floors, white stone on the walls as well, but a, but a more blue color scheme. So we, we recreated the both parts of the island, the, the, the two things we value the most, the colors, which are for us were the heritage of, of, of the island, but also the, the inner villages. Another bath and another wonderful view, but this time the tub is on the balcony and ready to go with bubbles overflowing. Ah, perfect relaxation. We placed uh, in, in the ceiling of all the rooms uh, this shell, which actually the, the shell in the Feng Shui philosophy um, is an icon which absorbs all the bad energy from a place. And if you place it either on the ceiling or below the bed, it will actually absorb the bad energy from the room. 
So that way when you come back at night with domotic systems, we only lit up this shell so that it absorbs all the bad energy while you sleep. When you leave your, your door, we use the technology, the, the domotic systems, so that the curtains shut automatically, all the cooling systems, they keep moderate temperature, so when you go back, you still have a comfort temperature, but it saves up energy. Even when, when the room is checked out, we combine the uh, computer system with the domotics, and the room completely shuts and consumes nothing. All the balconies, uh, which are made of crystal, they're made of solar panels, so we even generate energy for the hotel, saving up to 35% of energy of what a normal building would be like. For us, Ibiza is, the, is our interpretation of the chill-outs on the island. We place it on the highest floor of the building. So on the fifth floor, you're basically enjoying uh, chill-out music with the pool. You can have a, a swim while the sun is setting, enjoy a cocktail, uh, but also enjoy the fantastic views that you have of the Bay of Santa Eulalia, the Mediterranean Sea, Formentera at the end, and, uh, and the music. Tempting, though chilling out by the pool is, it's time to up the tempo and head inland and off the beaten track. If you're the type that prefers a chauffeur-driven limousine, this excursion may not be for you, but there's no better way to explore the North Coast. The 4x4 experience by car, for example, is a tour through Ibiza that uh, is for ex can be a day tour or can be only for two hours, whatever you like, whatever the clients likes. Um, we show the clients sceneries and parts of the island that he wouldn't expect and wouldn't find. We go also to cliff tops um, and right to the edge, to the limit what is safe, and also show the people uh, things and cliffs that they only would see from the coast. This one is definitely not for the faint heart. <laughs> This exhilarating 4x4 experience is offered by Global Star Events, who can arrange sporting activities all over the island. With the scenery changing from pine forest tracks to vertical cliff edges, adrenaline junkies and thrill seekers couldn't get much better. All in the very capable and safe hands of Gunther, who ensured we made it back in one piece to film the rest of this show. After all that exhilaration, we head inland for some well-deserved R&R. Throughout the island, there are many small villages, but none as quaint as Santa Gertrudis, which is situated at the geographical heart of Ibiza. It's a place where locals and tourists come to visit, or to pass the time sitting in a cafe, watching the world go by, while enjoying a plate of tapas and a jug of sangria. Any time of the day is just perfect for a visit to the village, with handicraft shops and art galleries offering an eclectic mix of clothing and accessories, there's plenty of retail therapy for the whole family. Talking of therapy, there are more ways than one to replenish body and soul, as we discover at the Bedina Spa back at the hotel. The name of the spa is Bodina. The spa plays with water because we are on the island and all the hotel is with water. The theme of water comes into play throughout the hotel from the water symbol in your room to the wonderful outdoor pool. And then, of course, down into the spa and its selection of jacuzzis and jet pools where you can literally float away on a cloud of pure relaxation. We have three pools. The first one is a round one, is like a big jacuzzi. Each person can active some strong jets, some bubbles come from at the, at the center.
Yeah, the second one, the person can lie down and have the bubbles on your on legs and on back. The last one is just to, to swim in the other side. We have a strong jet and like this you can swim in the other side. You bring out the need in me Like the breathing in and the breathing out So we have one zone, we have one sauna, one steam room. Uh, Roman bath is between sauna and steam room and after we have salting bath it's just the chair is at 35 degrees after we have a cold bath and the ice we are in the couple room so it's really special room to receive treatment so first we can take a bath together 20 minutes and after there's two therapists come to do the treatment is great for honeymoon, for example. We work with Sankman brand, it's French brand, and each treatment comes from a part of the world, so we have a lot of different treatments here. Carrying on our water theme, Let's take to the Balearic waters and explore some of the more inaccessible stretches of Ibiza's coastline and its neighboring islands by boat. About seven years ago, I decided it would be a great idea to set up a little company doing charters. So I uh, got my boat all charter licensed up and then set up a little company. And then uh, now we've got seven boats in the, in, in the fleet, uh, all owner-operated. So the sort of, I guess, our selling point, if you like, is that we've got um, that everyone, they're all British owners, we all have charter licenses, and uh, the guys that actually own the boats are the same people that are taking people out. With your own luxury speedboat and captain at your disposal, you can set sail around the coast or even take a day trip to one of the other Balearic Isles. People come out to Formentera to, to sunbathe, to relax and just enjoy the water. I mean, it's, it's like, a, like a big deep swimming pool. I mean, the color over there is it's fantastic. That's a good enough recommendation for us. So it's off to Formentera. The island is only a 40-minute journey from old Ibiza town and is the smallest of the Balearic Islands, with gorgeous beaches and possibly the clearest waters of them all. So remember to pack your snorkel. Being world class, you wouldn't expect anything less than your own water taxi to bring you ashore. And when you reach Formentera, there really is only one place to head to for lunch. At Fonterra itself, I mean, there's a very famous restaurant over there called Juan y Andrea that started in sort of 71. An old fisherman uh, who actually lived on the little island next door, uh, Espalmador. He uh, set up a little restaurant there with his then girlfriend and then subsequently wife. And it's very much a family run place. The three brothers now uh, run it. A very famous place. I mean, all the the A-listers and well, you name it, anyone coming here, that's really the place to go. Uh, the fish is phenomenal and uh, pretty special dishes on offer. The salt, they do massive great uh, dorada in salt that's very famous on the island and all the, all the local um, gambas, la plancha, and calamares, and all that kind of stuff. It's uh, a proper decent um, Spanish fair restaurant. Really. And no trip to a Spanish isle would be complete without tasting the national dish of paella a delicious combination of fluffy saffron rice and either meat or freshly caught seafood, all slow cooked and presented in a large flat pan. Island life certainly holds quite an attraction, so as we say farewell to Formentera, we say hello to Ivisa, or as it's more fondly known, Old Ibiza Town. Nowhere is there a better example of the magic and charm of Ibiza than in the island's capital, Old Ibiza Town. The jewel in the city's crown is the magnificent fortification of Dalt Villa, rising high above the marina. Entering across a dramatic drawbridge, you meander through cobbled streets and narrow alleyways that lead you along an interesting journey through centuries of history.
A pathway takes you past quaint whitewashed houses, leading gently upward toward the very top of the hill, where the narrow path opens out to reveal the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Snows. Perched high above the city, the cathedral commands spectacular views across the island and truly dominates the old town skyline. Ibiza's old town is formed from a natural harbor. Here, Mediterranean villas with terracotta roofs cluster around the cliffside, overlooking a marina that once would have been home to swashbuckling pirates, but now is populated by luxury super yachts. This town is one of the most fascinating parts of Ibiza, where by day or night, it's possible to experience a cultural melting pot of all the attractions and eccentricities which have made Ibiza world famous. Not only is it a 24-hour playground for those who thrive on entertainment, it is also the gateway to those who wish to experience more of the soul and spirit of this magical island. After a day of exploring the island by land and by sea, it's back to the hotel for a well-earned sundowner and a chance to try some of the culinary delights on offer in the hotel's restaurant. To tell us more is restaurant manager Sylvain Lautry. It's a very small restaurant to make like a 30, 35 seat. And uh, why? Because you want to make a, like a gastronomic, a very small gastronomic restaurant. And uh, with the terrace during the summer, we make a bit 60 seats, a bit more. The hotel's restaurants are all decorated with fabulous, modern, yet minimalistic pieces of art. We take a glimpse into the kitchens, where Chef is busy creating his next masterpiece. So is he a true Spaniard? The chef uh, from the restaurant is from uh, Catalonia. I think he's a very professional uh, Spanish chef. And uh, he's worked for the big Spanish chef in, in, in Spain as well. It's very good to have a local uh, chef as well on, on Ibiza. It's very important. Right, the eco uh, kitchen uh, we make it is uh, from the garden. We have a small uh, garden with uh, like uh, lettuce, tomato, uh, parsley, uh, back to the hotel. So we start slowly to make it uh, more bigger for next year. Maybe not buy anything on the suppliers. So the signature dish uh, of uh, the chef from Jordi in the kitchen, uh, what you see uh, before, uh, was he prepared the octopus salad, which is a very, very traditional uh, dish. And the people in Ibiza come as well uh, to have very light uh, dinner. And it's like it's perfect because it's like a green salad, what you see we make preparing. And Jordi, I think, is very, very good with uh, the flavor we make it. And it's not too heavy for the customers, which is very important. As with all masterpieces, it comes down to the imagination and skill of the artist to select the best ingredients and make them look like a work of art. One of the greatest benefits of visiting a tiny island like Ibiza with over 200 kilometers of coastline is that you will always find the perfect beach for the right occasion. Be it a simple day with friends, a romantic paradise, or simply finding that serene tranquility we all seek. On many of the more touristy beaches, you'll find musicians playing soulful tunes by the water's edge to bring a little extra Balearic rhythm to your vacation.
And should you tire of one beach and decide to seek out one of the 49 others, no problem. Wherever you are on Ibiza, nowhere is more than half an hour away, even if it's on the other side of the island. In fact, should you still have the energy, there are coastal paths around much of the island, allowing you to walk from one beach to the next, offering new experiences, even for the big kids. Although relatively small in size, at 25 kilometers long and 45 kilometers wide, the landscape of Ibiza changes dramatically throughout, from pine forests in the north to UNESCO-protected salt plains in the south. We trust we've shown you another side of Ibiza, one that you might not have expected to find. Known by many as the White Island, Ibiza really does have something to offer everyone, young or old, adrenaline junkie or pleasure seeker. Take our advice and sit a while. The local people are extremely friendly and just long to share their island's secrets. So from all of us on the world-class team, we bid you farewell and look forward to seeing you next time. Till then, goodbye.